Hello everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit. And today is Monday and I'm going to do my garden um, tour or garden time each week on Mondays. So you can see how my garden's coming around and what I'm doing and tell me what you think. Should I be doing something different? What would you recommend? Do you think I should um, keep doing what I'm doing? Do I need to plant my plants further apart? Plant my plants closer together? Whatever. Comment. Just leave me a comment. And You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Only if you want to. But at least if you're watching and you're not subscribed, just leave me a comment. Let me see, you know, what you think of my garden. Just tell me. You need to plant this. I'd like to see you grow some of this. Or you need to plant that. Or get rid of that. I don't like it. You know, but I'm going to still plant what I want. But I still can plant what you want. There's plenty of room in the garden. Just give me your little your little comments on what you think. Right now, let's get started on seeing what I have. And what's done. And what I need to do. So, here we go. Here's some peppers we bought. These here peppers here are red ones, and these here are red ones. These here are yellow ones. These here are green ones. Let's see. These are banana peppers, and these here are Big Bertha green peppers. I planted, uh, we'll see. This, this here, I need to get in the garden as soon as possible possible because they're starting to get their little things that grab what do you call it they grab and climb and that is my king uh tuck peats hopefully they live i might put i don't know we'll, we'll i'll figure out what to put that and you'll see when i do it and then these here on the end here are my uh who's that beans that's uh black eyed peas so hopefully that'll grow good. And then these peppers here need to grow some more. This is my 72 peppers I planted, and they're not growing that very good, but that's okay. This here, right here, is lettuce, and that's spinach, but there's no spinach, and tomatoes with diatomaceous earth. And here's my Peter peppers. So let's head outside, and that... And when I when we head outside, whoa, I'm probably too close to you. Then you can see what's going on out there with where the where they're gonna be put. Okay. I have some five gallon buckets here. I took potatoes out of the garden and planted them in the bucket. Hopefully they'll continue growing and give us some potatoes. Here's the peas I planted a while back in the middle. And I can't get them to grow up, so they're just going to lay down and go everywhere, I guess. And then the lettuce is right here. And then we have the spinach over there, and the spinach isn't doing too good, but it's there. And down here in these tubs, I planted... I can remember what I planted. On this side, I planted caraway, and this side is rosemary when they grow. Just planted them. It's supposed to rain in the next three days, so I'm going to get a lot of moisture on it. On this here, I planted fennel on this side, and I know fennel will spread all over. So I'll end up using this whole tub for fennel later. And this here is uh, purple... Oh, uh, deep purple basil, yeah, is, is right in here. I'd like to go over here where this wheelbarrow's at and add some, some soil to it, take all the weeds out, add some soil to it, and plant some lavender, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Let's go around, let's go around to the other side where the garden's on the other side of the house. So we can see what we got there. As you can see, we got the lawn mowed. 
How nice is that? From all the mowing again, my husband had a flat tire this morning, which is sad. A flat tire after mowing. Don't know when he got it or where he got it, but we still have more mowing to do. But he's trying to fix the tire. Here comes my babies. Now that they know I'm here, they're going to run after me. And you better got to be in the lead. You ready? Let's watch the birds. Maybe I'm lying. Usually they run after me. Well, I'll come over here to the onions. Got my onion bed here. This used to have garlic in it, but it died. And we went and bought onions. Got onions for free from the abundant harvest. And some of them were growing. So I just planted them in here. And this is left over from last year. Planted them in December. Hopefully they'll be giving me one pound onions. Let's come out here to the big garden. So you can see it. it sure feels good to walk without having to walk through that tall grass. I'm going to get the tires out of here. My husband says, get rid of those tires. You don't need to be planting in them. you got enough space on the ground. I just want to plant whatever I want everywhere, you know. But I got, I dug all this up, little bitty bites. And you can see the, the weeds, the Johnson grass weeds, the white stuff in there. looks like, I don't know, spaghetti maybe. Anyway, that's all Johnson grass weeds and I need to get them out and then get those tires out so get all this I'm gonna finish digging this up clear over to that white cage way over here dig 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 then I'm gonna take my tiller and till it up I'll be tilling up as I go cuz I gotta get those plants in the ground and then get this all tilled up and plant whatever I'm gonna plant so give me some ideas what sh what would you like me to plant and if I have it, I'll plant it, maybe, if I can. Here's my turnip bed that the horse helped me plant. <laughs> I need to go through that. There's some weeds in there. I need to thin it out really good, too, because I want big turnips. Not just turnip leaves. But while I thin it out, I can eat those turnip leaves. And I'll put it in with my salads. And here's my herb garden. I don't know what's growing, if there is anything yet. This Johnson grass needs taken out. But I have, in this row, it's supposed to be sage. I don't see any yet. In this row, it's supposed to be lavender. I don't see any yet. This is supposed to be fennel. I'm not for sure what fennel looks like. But I just look, when I'm looking in the garden, I try to see if something matches. Or it looks like a row or something. Then I'll leave it alone. And this is lemon milk. I never planted that before. Lemon mint, I mean, for teas. And this is basil. And I see one way over there on the end. Right there. A little basil. And this right here is uh, German chamomile, which I don't know what it looks like yet. So we'll see. And then caraway. I'm still waiting on it. And then this is dill. And you can see a little bit of dill popping in here. Right about here. Some dill. Still gotta get some more weeds out. I'm working on it. This right here is the purple opal like I have in the front yard in the lick tub. This is rosemary. I think that's uh, an, an herb something right here. I'm not for sure. If someone can tell me, that'd be nice. And this is thyme. We all need thyme. <laughs> that's supposed to be a joke. What kind of plant is this? Is that parsley? Let me pinch the leaf off and smell it. it. Smells like lemon balm. Could that be lemon balm? It smells good. See? Mm. Let's go around to the last part of the garden. Let me let you... Uh, that tastes like lemon balm. That's probably what it is. Well, at least I have one lemon balm came from last year. So I know lemon balm will come back if I don't destroy it. Now, this is our plum tree. I probably have too many plums on it. I should thin them out. But, there's some plums. One right here. They'll grow up. There's 
two trees, this one, and the one next door to it, next door to it. <laughs> right there's the other plum tree. And we got two peach trees here. And you can see we had so many peaches one year. And I guess they were too close together. And they busted this branch. Right there. And let's come over here and see these tomatoes that I planted with my husband yesterday. We use his earthquake. And he dug holes in the ground with the earthquake. We put the tomato down inside the hole and put diatomaceous earth in there to help with the fertilization and then covered it with the weave uh, the black weed barrier and hopefully they let stay alive when they get a little bit taller i'll be putting these tomato cages around it then we can mow, mow over there <laughs> i'm gonna fix this row here up where i'm standing at I have one more 20 foot row left in my in here and I'll put it on here and plant some of those peppers because peppers can be planted closer together than tomatoes so I can put two here two four every every foot every 18 inches I can plant another every 18 inches I can plant another pepper that way they have room to expand their self and then, whoo, yeah, where's I going? Fruit trees. But they have um, room to expand that way. It's supposed to rain tonight, all night, and then Tuesday and Wednesday. We just got through having a flood, so I don't know if the waters went down enough where it won't flood again or not. Here's our apricot tree. I don't think we're going to get anything. Got poison ivy growing on it. You bet I won't be I won't be doing much on that tree. I'd like to get uh I don't know why that wire's on here. I'd like to get a saw of some kind and come in here and take some of these branches off that don't belong there like right in there. Cuz if you can't throw a football through, it's too close together. I need to do that with the plum tree. It's too tall. I'm gonna take some of those branches off the top. Not right now. It's already growing stuff, but in, when the leaves are all gone, trim it down and uh, take some of those branches out. It's too thick and it's not supposed to be like that. I started with the peach trees trying to, uh, what do you call it? prune them but they need more pruning done especially around the base and we've got an apple tree over here we used to have three apple trees but something happened to the other two and they died so here's this is a, a granny smith a granny smith apple i believe the green it's green anyway i don't know if we're going to get any apples this year but let's see if we can see any buds No, I don't see any, but there, yep, there's an apple right, yeah, right in here. So, there will be at least one apple. <laughs> there. Well, there's some in there. Okay, that's the apples. Then we got a cherry tree here, which it was not pruned, as you can see. It's kind of, you know, surprised we get anything. We would get a whole lot of cherries on here. Here's a couple right here. But that's full of it. We have to get a ladder when we do that. Something happened to this cherry tree, just like the apple trees, I guess. It's not giving us nothing. Nothing but poison ivy's growing on it. That's about it. In case you don't know what poison ivy looks like, take a good look. It's not a fun plant. So, stay away from it unless you're not allergic. <laughs> and this right here is a pear tree. We've lived here in this property for eight years and haven't got a single pear. I don't know. It's probably because I never pruned it. 
but I'll get I'll try to get it pruned this year it's probably too late but I don't see any any signs of pears growing on maybe it's one that don't give off fruit I don't know but anyway that's our pear tree and that's our garden I hope you enjoyed it go ahead and comment what you thought your comments concerns uh, tell me what you want to tell me about my garden what you want me to plant and things like that and I would do my best I'll read all the comments believe me and uh, when I start growing my channel even bigger I'll have to get spend more time on my comments because sometimes I don't keep up with them very good I do apologize about that anyway I'll go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video one day there'll be things growing in here ta-ta for now yeah.